to the father of all humanity, Prophet Adam, and to all the children who descended from him, peace be upon you. The Prophet Nuh, the builder and the captain of the ark, and to all those who rode with him and became members of, the, of his community, peace be upon you. The Prophet Ibrahim, the father of the Prophets, the builder of the Kaabatullah, and to his son Ismail, and the generations that descended from him, peace be upon you. The Prophet Musa, who received the Ten Commandments, and to all the sons and daughters of Ishaq, who suffered with him in his hardships, peace be upon you. The Prophet Isa, giver of the Sermon of the Mount, who saved the faith from the Romans, peace be upon you and upon all the people of the book. And finally, to our Prophet Muhammad Mustafa, whom Allah sent as a mercy to all the world, and his community, the Ummah of Islam, and to each member of this Ummah, peace be upon you. Dear brothers and sisters, by Allah's mercy, this center, the Honest Center of America will be officially open tomorrow, inshallah. And we pray that Allah makes it an opening full of blessings. Tomorrow, we are not just opening a masjid, but also a center and a sanctuary that will serve as a bridge between communities and civilizations. Dear Mu'mins, Ayyuhal Mu'minun, in the Holy Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala states that huwa ansha'akum min al-ardi wasta'marakum fiha. He who brought you into being out of the earth and asked you to build the vault and requested you to settle the universe. According to this verse, Allah tells us the purpose of the creation is to grow, build, and reform the earth, reform the universe. We often speak of human beings having life, but real and meaning, meaningful life is more than just mere existence. Authentic life is about making a constant effort to build and reform the earth. But it, it is important it is important, we have to remember. We have to remember that the journey of building and reforming must begin in the heart of the human being. And the way to build the heart is through its purification. Surely, we place where the purification of the heart takes place is the masjid, masajid. In the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes that the true believers are those who establish and maintain the masjids of Allah, the masajid, as he says in Surah At-Tawbah, إِنَّمَا يَعْمُرُ مَسَاجِدَ اللَّهِ مَنْ آمَنَ بِاللَّهِ وَالْيَوْمِ الْآخِرِ إِلَىٰ آخِرِ الْآيَةِ Those who maintain and establish the masajid are those who believe in Allah and the last day, يَوْمِ الْآخِرَةِ perform the prayer and give their zakah and fear none but only Allah for only, only such as these may be among the rightly guided among muhtadeen. While the Prophet was making tawaf around the Kaaba, he spoke to the Kaaba and glorified it by saying, Oh, beautiful Kaaba, how pure you are how pure and beautiful is your smell. How great is your sanctity and honor. I swear that the sanctity of a believer, the sanctity of one mu'min 
is greater in the sight of Allah than your sanctity. Indeed, the believer's life and heart are so sacred to Allah that they are being compared to the Kaaba, which further shows the significance of taking care of our hearts. Dear brothers and sisters, everything that exists in universe submits to Allah. As Allah says, وَلَهُ أَسْلَمَ مَنْ فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ all that is in the heavens and the earth, all that is in the universe is submission to him. Moreover, everything that exists in the universe also glorifies Allah. Allah said, وَإِن مِّن شَيْءٍ إِلَّا يُسَبِّحُ بِحَمْدِهِ There is not a thing except that it glorifies him. Not only this, but everything in the heavens and the earth also prostrate, make sajda to Allah. As he tells us, وَالنَّجْمُ وَالشَّجَرُ يَسْجُدَانِ And the stars and the trees prostrate, make sajda. According to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the entire earth is a masjid. The entire universe is masjid for mu'min, for believer. The, indeed, in one of his hadith, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu said, جُعِلَتْ لِيَ الْأَرْضُ الْمَسَاجِدِ جُعِلَتْ لِيَ الْأَرْضُ مَسْجِدًا وَطَهُورًا أَيْنَمَا أَدْرَكَ رَجُلٌ مِنْ أُمَّتِي الصَّلَاةَ فَصَلَّى The entire universe has been made into a masjid and has been purified for me. So, if anyone from my ummah reaches the prayer time, let him pray there. So we have to ask, we have to ask, why are we building masjid, masajid, if Allah made the entire world a masjid for the believers? Because the masjid are not just a place for salah, but they are also the places where we, we learn how to love our Allah, other human beings and the whole universe. The masjid are the places where we gain knowledge about our religion, our Islam, our book, our prophets. The member from which I'm delivering this khutbah is the place where the knowledge turns into light. The kursi, the kursi that is standing right across from his member symbolizes sound knowledge. And the mihrab, where the imam leads the salah, comes from the root heart, that's mean war, which symbolizes the internal spiritual struggle, internal spiritual, spiritual struggle of the human being with himself, with his nafs. The minarets of masjid symbolizes tawheed and shahada. The masajid are also the places where people's colors, languages, races, and all social ranks became disappear from one another, making every day equal before Allah. The masjid are the places where we taste the real meaning of freedom by purifying ourselves from submitting to all the all false idols in our lives and submitting instead only to Allah and none but Allah. Dear brothers and sisters, this place of worship where we gather now to pray Salat al Jum'ah will inshallah deliver the beauty and mercy of the Islam to entire the world. It will inshallah be place of learning, place of enlightenment, place of gaining wisdom, and it will, inshallah, be a source of peace and unity for everyone. This place that we are right now is not just a masjid or a community center, but is also a sanctuary of comfort for all human beings, Muslims or non-Muslims in America. Dear brothers and sisters in Islam, as I conclude my khutbah, I would like to emphasize to all my brothers and sisters that 
the, this vault that is the birthplace of the three divine religions is now suffering from a severe hardship. The ideologies and the theologies that we reach the heart of that sacred land have no place in Islam and should be rejected by every Muslim. In the societies where we live, let us strive to live and embody to character and ethics Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has established. We should never deviate from the middle path of Islam, from Sarat al Mustaqeem, Ihdina Sarat al Mustaqeem, which is the path that has produced all the great Muslim civilizations over the past centuries. My message to you is that you should continue to hold your, your head high with honor and dignity and do not to defensive or apologetic for the horrible acts that have been committed by criminals who claim affiliation with your faith, with your beautiful religion. We all know that all the crimes that are committed against humanity can never find any justification in Islam, nor can they find any basis in the Holy Quran or the Sunnah of Prophet Muhammad Mustafa Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Indeed, Allah promises those who truly know and fear Him gardens of eternal bliss and peace in the hereafter, in the Akhirah. As Allah says, in al muttaqin fi jannatin wa uyun, udhuluha bi salamin aminin. Truly, the God fearing shall be amid gardens and siblings, enter it in peace and safety. This is a verse that find inscribed at the doors of many masajid around the world. Because the masjid and the gardens of believers on the earth because the masjid are the gardens of the believers on the earth. So, this is a call to everyone, to all mankind, to enter this place in peace. May Allah always make this center a place of peace and mercy for everyone. May He grant all of you His mercy and love, and may His peace and blessing be upon all of you, 